subscribe my channel for more videos and press the bell icon for latest updates. A hiking trip. Hi, Anne. Did you sign up for the trip on Saturday? What trip is that? I didn't know there was a trip on Saturday. The hiking club is going to Bear Mountain. The bus drops us off at the bottom and we're going to hike until we get to a cabin halfway up the mountain. That sounds really great. Where can I sign up? Go and see Jennifer. She'll help you sign up. What activity will we do when we get to the cabin on the mountain? Well, it takes seven hours to hike to the cabin, so it will be late by the time we arrive. After we unpack, we'll start a campfire. Then we can sing, eat, and tell stories around the fire. The following day, we'll leave at dawn and hike to the top of the mountain. After we take pictures, we'll hike back down. If we have time, we might go swimming in the lake on the mountain. Those sound like really fun activities, and I can't wait to go. Save the Turtles Have you heard about the plan to save turtles in Mexico? No, what is the story? Turtles are in danger of becoming extinct around the world. Every year, thousands of turtles lay eggs on the beach. After the turtles lay their eggs in the sand, people come along and take them. I suppose the people like eating turtle eggs. Exactly. Turtles are beginning to stay away from certain places now. There are fewer and fewer of them left. There is a new project in Mexico to save these eggs. Then turtles will not become extinct. I think it's a very good project. Is there anything we can do to help? I'm going to call the Environmental Protection Hotline. They might have some information about the project to help save turtles in Mexico. They might even have a brochure. Let's find the website on my computer. Oh, here it is. The address is www.enviro.com. There's plenty of information here. Great! Let's see what we can do to help save turtles in Mexico. Hiking in Iran Most people think that the Middle East is only a desert. This is far from true. Last year, I went hiking in Iran. Iran has many mountains. You can find trees that lose their leaves in winter. If you're lucky, you may see a yellow deer or a brown bear, two species that live there. The air is fresh and you can swim in clear, clean lakes. I definitely recommend it. There are so many birds to see. It is fun to go into the forest with binoculars to look at birds. Seeing the birds through binoculars makes them seem much nearer than they actually are. You can write down all of the species that you see. You should learn about their calls first. That means the sounds that each bird makes. Sometimes it's hard to see the birds. However, you can identify them if you happen to hear them. I want to go back to Iran again someday. It's so beautiful that I want to see and explore much more of it. Jane Goodall Jane Goodall went to Africa when she was 26 years old. She went there to research chimpanzees. At that time, no other women scientists worked there alone. At first, Jane studied the chimps from far away. The chimps were afraid of her. They ran away if she came close to them. After some time, the chimps saw that she was not going to hurt them. They let her walk near them. Soon, she was living among them. She wanted to learn more and more about them. Jane did a lot of research on chimps. She discovered many new things about them. She learned that each chimp has its own personality. She saw that they have feelings. Jane discovered that chimps have very close families. Mothers and fathers take good care of baby chimps. An adult female chimp will sometimes adopt an orphan. In 1977, Jane started an institute to help protect animals. She wanted to help animals all around the world. Today, this institute runs programs in over 70 countries. Flying Cars Listen to this. 
This newspaper article says that some scientists are working on a new kind of airplane. People can use these flying cars for short trips. How interesting! The article says the first flying car might be ready within the next few years. That's quite soon. How would this flying car work? Can anybody use one, or is it only for people who know how to fly airplanes? You don't need to be an airplane pilot to use a flying car. The article says there would be a computer inside the car that would know where you want to go. The driver does not need to control the car unless something goes wrong. Does the article say how much a flying car would cost? It will probably cost too much money. We would not be able to afford one. True, but wouldn't it be nice to fly over traffic jams instead of sitting in the middle of them? Yes, but then we might end up with traffic jams in the sky.